Hello and welcome to 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shoukh Mohammed. The Speaker of the Representative's Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, held a consultation meeting in response to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives to include amounts related to the citizens' needs in various fields in the draft budget law currently discussed by the Executive and Legislature Councils. The Speaker, along with the representatives, extended deepest thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his unwavering interest in the affairs of the nation and the citizens, citing the royal directive to the legislative and executive branches to cooperate effectively in order to bring about landmark achievements for the kingdom and its citizens. The meeting discussed challenges and economic conditions in Bahrain, stressing that the directives of His Majesty the King were keen to ensure that citizens are not affected by all measures taken by the kingdom in reducing expenses and rationalizing expenditures with the need to diversify sources of income for the benefit of the national economy. The attendees also stressed a fruitful cooperation with the government headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, expressing the efforts carried out by the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee and its continuous efforts to achieve the aspirations of the citizens. The Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities has officially ushered the 2017 edition of the Bahrain Summer Festival, which was opened by BACA President Sheikh Amey bin Mohammed Al Khalifa at the Nakhul Tent. More on this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. The Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities has officially launched the ninth edition of the Bahrain Summer Festival at a special event at the Nakhul Tent. So today, um, as you know, it's the opening of Bahrain Summer Festival. It's a great opportunity bringing together so many activities and programming uh, in Nakhul's tent. Um, of course, Bahrain Summer Festival is, is one of the highlights that we work on during the summer season. And the beauty of it is the variety of workshops, of activities, of arts and crafts, sports. So it's wonderful to have um, an outlet for families and for little kids to come and enjoy. And special thanks to the huge number of volunteers to the young uh, um, individuals who are supporting us in uh, in programming and in uh, and in running this tent this year. It's a very good initiative, very interesting, and uh, it shows how lively the cultural life is uh, in Bahrain for for the children, but not only because uh, I know that the program of this uh, summer festival includes also uh, concerts and other activities addressed to all the populations. The opening, which took place at the Nakhul tent, combined both the Bahraini and Arab heritage, along with the participation of the Nakhul City Kids performance in a musical collaboration with the Bahrain Music Institute. Um, I, part I also participated in Nakhul last year. Um, I, was, I was drawing live in a canvas and the te my teacher, Saab Ahmed, he always tells me that you're a good artist and keep drawing, don't give up hope. These are the paintings I drew and my dad and mom always motivates me to draw every day and every day I draw like about two hours and my favorite painting was the horse. Um, I have like a printing teacher who like did all this and he, he got me into this. I love the fact that it's free, it's really accessible to everyone that's within the island and it's a great thing that they've done it annually or yearly which is just really great for kids to come from all over the country and just get to interact with each other. They get to learn different things about the culture which is really important because Bahrain is great. we I grew up here so. The festival which will run until August 7 aims at boosting the island's position as a regional cultural tourism hub. The ninth edition will feature the usual amazing lineup of top shows and artists at the Cultural Hall, representing a wide range of genres and cultures, as well as an interactive edutainment program at the Nakhul Tent. The 2017 Bahrain Summer Festival opened its door for its exciting one month long programs full of exciting events, competitions and events. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.